junior, number 31, Jace Osmeyer. And a 6'2", junior, number 40, Corporich. Jarrett, Jarrett Corporich. Gabe Rudd for Northern Valley, stands 6'3". He's a junior. John L. Spears, a 5'8", freshman, wears number 23. Jason Cox, a 6'1", junior, wears number 22. Caden Lowry, number, a 6'1", sophomore, wears number 12. And the last starter is Owen Hammond. Owen Hammond is a six-foot freshman, wears number 15. Northern Valley goes empty on its first possession and goes into the man-to-man -man defense to start this second one. That's Veruzica at the point working against John L. Spear. Now the ball is back up to Jaden Capuzzo. They try to feed it inside over to Ruzica. Thought he was going to shoot for a second, but John L. did a really good job closing out the space to get up in his grill. And a steal by Jason Cox, but it'll be turned right back over. Now Owen's got one. Left open, stop, pop, three. He's on the way. <laughs> no good. Might as well keep firing like he did at Logan the other day. Yeah, against Greeley County oh, as well. Greeley. He was the... Uh, the only thing that got the Huskies back within reach of that game. Jensen and a hand on the ball again from Owen Hammond. Osmeyer traveled with it. No, that was Koperich. Koperich. Jarrett Koperich. Koperich. I got down and I got the starters from the English teacher. And I said, uh, please don't listen to my broadcast. Please don't grade us. Please. <laughs> you would not have uh, oh, enjoyed my presence in high school. You might have laughed a couple times, but one of them would have been at my grade. Just ask Mrs. Sharon Hempler. <laughs> Jason Cox with a, with a good look there trying to drive baseline, but loses the ball off of his leg, giving it back to Oberlin. Inside, they throw the ball, and it'll be thrown away over to Northern Valley. Both teams kind of pressing a little bit too much here at the start, trying to be the first team to open up the scoring. Just need to settle in and run those offenses. Inside they go to Rudd, off the left shoulder. His turnaround jump shot, it falls no good. Ruzica with the rebound. Over to Capuzzo. Man, I got to write it down. Hammond right in Capuzzo's face, has to get the ball to Corporich. He goes off of his, not off of his own foot. It'll be Red Devil ball. Throwing it in in the corner is Corporich. Must have went off of Rudd's foot. Jason Cox has to hustle over there to get on the shooter. Hammond tries to jump that passing lane, can't get it done. Shot up and in. That is from Jace Osmeyer. I don't even know if he had to jump for that one. Sitting at 6-2, John L. Spear with the aggressive play, taking it up amongst the trees, gets rewarded with the trip to the free throw line. John L. does a great job of putting his head down in transition and taking advantage of openings, gets fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. John L. The second one goes off just a hair, but it puts Northern Valley in the books with one. This is number one Jensen here for the Red Devils. Crossover back out. It goes to Ruzica. Ruzica has it. Foul against Jason Cox is called. First team foul against the Huskies. Corporich will inbound the ball on the sideline. It had Capuzzo, but it went through his hands. So it'll be Husky ball. Northern Valley yet to get a field goal here in the first three minutes. Hammond found himself too wide open. Should have gone all the way to the rim, settled for a floater. Even looked like he took a little off it to try to have the touch, but not quite enough. Back here is Capuzzo. Good find inside to Corporich, but Dave, or Rudd, I almost said 
Gabe Davis. I've been playing too much fantasy football. <laughs> Gabe, <laughs> Gabe Rudd. I, I called him Gabe Brown last week for all you soil health nuts out there. So <laughs> there's we do know and uh, like Gabe Rudd. We just can't remember his last name. <laughs> hey, Gabe Davis is an athletic freak as well. Traveling up high against the Red Devils will turn it back over to the Northern Valley Huskies. It's good to see Rudd back out here. This is his third game back now with the Huskies after he did not be able to start the season. He was uh, still healing up from, from football season up to this point. So it's good to have him back out there and his athleticism and his motor. And it was nice to see that he waited till he was really 100%. Yeah, because a lot of people come back, try to come back too soon, and they get one or two games in, and then it actually does more uh, more bad than good because they're out again for the second half. But uh, they're going to need him if they want to make a run deep into the season because he oh. puts in quality minutes on the varsity side too. Olin had just checked back into the game, and he went to it. It's hammered, but they're going to let him play on. David Jensen gets the ball. Jensen fires a three. Going to be long, no good. Lowry with a rebound. Caden Lowry has done a lot better job cleaning up those boards this year. It's good to see him kind of learn that craft. Jason Cox open for a three. It's going to be long, no good. And quickly out. They try to go with an outlet pass. That's Cameron Oyen, number four. Playing with, is that a cast or is it just a brace? Not for sure. It's on the floor. He's playing. Hammond's got a steal here. He'll go right at the rim and over the top. But Rudd picks it up and cleans it up to score the bucket. And that's at that, that raw athleticism that we were talking about uh, that the team you know, any team can use <laughs> players that can do that, uh, whether whether it's Northern Valley or, or any squad. They've tied it at three now with 3.15 to go here in this first quarter. Very low scoring for Northern Valley so far in this one as well. Decatur County, block shot by Rudd. They're letting him play yeah, as the ball goes to the rim. got away with a little bit of a foul there as well. I think if you want the basketball, just go ask for it. <laughs> That's right. Hammond looks this one down, and he'll fire away and bury this attempt. Just like that, Northern Valley's got him doubled up. Owen Hammond has definitely had more of the green light or has given himself the green light more from downtown the past couple of games. It's been a little flammable as of lately. Catch and fire. Catch and shoot. He can be dangerous from outside if he can get going. This is Jensen. Oh, a good pass from Jensen around the defenders, and he's got the hustle around to the other side. A pretty shot from him. That was all hustle right there to create that shot opportunity. Huskies up by just one point. Hammond. Now to John L. Open on the wing. Just short. John L. is going to make a few of them if they leave him that open. Gabe Rudd to the rim. Floater is short, no good, but Owen Hammond's there to grab that rebound. Dribble out to the three point line and shoot it. They'll say before the shot, the foul occurred. I, I don't think it had to do with the shot. I think it was underneath between Rudd and Corporate. Corporate. Picks up a foul. And I did just realize that we're only playing two quarters of action, Clint. Whoa, we are, aren't we? So this is a very important quarter. So this one-point lead from the Huskies feels like... A one-point lead a, by the Huskies. A one-point lead by the Huskies. <laughs> but in, in, the, in the second half, it, it just changes everything when you realize <laughs> that you're in the second half of action already. I was wondering why the boys were playing a little bit aggressively on that, and stepping on the line this time is Jensen. No reason to leave any in the tank. I see. You work hard around home, around your family, at your job, and you deserve some perks. Benefits like shopping and travel discounts, protection on your cell phone, roadside assistance. Perks. 
Inside Hammond's shot is rejected by Waterman. And another one will keep the ball here for the Huskies, but substitutions come in as Caden Waterman, the 6'1 sophomore in, as well as Colton Matties. Excuse me. Matthews. And another turnover by the Huskies. Jensen will accelerate with that right hand and step out of bounds again in two consecutive possessions. Also into the game there at that break is Maverick Rogers for Northern Valley. Number four. Mav, just a freshman there for Northern Valley. He's got it here on the wing, goes inside, tries to get it to Rudd, and it's knocked out of his hands. Minute to go here in the third quarter of play. Dribble drive, kick back out, Owen. Pump fake, he'll free throw line jump shot, no good. Ball ends up in Rudd's hands. Long outlet to Cox on the wing. Hesitates, tries to go baseline, flips it over to really Gabe Rudd. Find. No good, Gabe with another rebound, make it two rebounds and puts a third shot in. Good job by him following his shot and staying on top of the boards. He's bouncy. He's bouncy. This is Jensen working against John L. Spear. Tried to find Owens on the cut, can't get it. the connection. It goes out of bounds, Huskies ball. Aiden Keith is gonna come into the game for Northern Valley. Gabe Rudd will catch his breath on the bench for a moment. 14 ticks to go. John L. pointed it out. We'll see what they can do here to get a good shot off opportunity off. It's all about the pass when the clock is going down. They're gonna find it's Maverick Rogers. Inside to Aiden Keith, his turnaround jump shot no good. I like that John L. at least pointed it out because uh, the end of quarter situation Situational awareness has been something that the JV boys have, have not excelled at so far this season. Not much time. Jensen's fall away three-pointer shouldn't count, but they were going to count it, and it didn't count because <laughs> it didn't go in. Fourth quarter players on the floor here for the Red Devils. They'll go with number 14, Caden Waterman, as well as Jaden Capuzzo. Looks like Ruzica out there. Along, he hit one three-pointer from there, and the second one is no good for Osmeyer. He'll get another shot off on the baseline here, no good. Another follow rebound by Capuzzo will find an open Jensen in the corner for a three. Oh, the Valley's got to go get a rebound. It's another opportunity here for the Red Devils. Yeah, great job by Oberlin creating those second chances on this trip. Ruzka regathers the dribble, gets the ball over to Capuzzo. Northern Valley starts the fourth quarter this way. Aiden Keith, Maverick Rogers, John L. Spear, Owen Hammond, Jason Cox. Fall away, jump shot, no good. And Mav Rogers jumped up and hit that one to save the rebound for Northern Valley. Small but mighty. Owen all the way to the rim will be fouled, so he'll go to the. They'll say it was on the floor before he started the shot. Ball will be out of bounds. Foul goes against Caden Waterman. <clears throat> they fly it high for Jason here. Kick back to John L. Hesitation goes into the inside, back out to Jason. They find Mav Rogers open for three, lets it rip. Nope, no good. Aiden Keith fighting and losing that rebound, thought he had it. Jansen gonna go to the rim, float it up, no good. Big contact, no whistle. Another big contact, no whistle. And back out, they get the ball to Capuzzo. Inside, they'll find a wide open Waterman and he'll go to the line for two. Foul goes against Owen Hammond. Two shots coming for Waterman. Waterman's first, no good. Northern Valley's going to substitution in here of Van Patten and Rudd. Yeah. 
Clay Van Patten, a 5'4 freshman, making his first appearance tonight. Second shot by Waterman, no good. Off of. Off of Rudd last, <laughs> they say it is. Anyway. And they quickly hand the ball in. <laughs> yeah, they weren't going to let him second guess it. It's this misses three. everything, and so it gets gathered up by Jason Cox. Now a turnover is a bad pass by Spear all the way to the rim. Flip it up. No good for Capuzzo. <laughs> Maverick Rogers. Now Capuzzo's got another steal. Yeah, he is feasting over there on that wing. Just trailing by three, one possession game. If they can find a shot from distance to go down, we'll be Good right fight. here. Just too strong with it. Trying to work through the contact with the Huskies. Gift them with the ball back once again. Naked. Waterman, back cut. Here by Capruzzo, but blocked by Cox. Osmeyer with the follow rebound. Yeah, Red Devils just unable to capitalize on these trips down the floor, but the Huskies are giving them the ball back time and time again. But in this ball game, as we just get to play the two quarters of action for the JV boys. Maverick Rogers, three on the way, just off the mark. Capuzzo with a rebound. John L. Spear with the quick hands tries to poke it away, but Capuzzo gets it back. Not stopping as she's going to the rim, but how did he save that? That was impressive. Osmeyer puts it up on the rim, no good. This is Ruzica with a rebound. Now over to Capuzzo. Capuzzo stop and pop three. No good. Gabe Rudd jumps over everyone in the gymnasium to get that rebound. Bounce pass over here. Cox inside. They'll go to Rudd. Has it knocked out of his hands by Capuzzo. Now back to Cox. Spear to Mav Rogers. Back to Spear and swing it to Cox. His three on the way off, no good. Not much in rhythm there. Yeah, decent ball movement, but probably could have waited a little longer and been patient for a better shot. Ruzica working against Maverick Rogers. He tries to poke it away, but can't get it past. Get the ball out of Ruzica's hands. Corporate with a really nice move there to slip underneath the defender's defense. We're down to a one-point game as That's Northern right. Valley's offense is stagnant. Is that a good word? Yeah. In this fourth quarter, they, they have yet to cash in on one of their tries on offense. And uh, it seems like the Red Devils have, have kind of put the clamps on them here the last couple trips down. Bringing back that starting lineup for the Northern Valley now. Rudd catches it at the high post. Red Devils have brought in some height as freshman, 6'4 freshman Tyler Osmeyer now in for them. Where's number 33? He's a big kid. Uh, yeah, I wonder where this ball is going to go, Clint. If I would go right back to the well that got him there. Ruzica inside that nice pass by Tyler, but it was just outside of Koprich's grab. Otherwise, they take the lead on that play. Yep, got to be aware on the even when you're the backside defender on the post right there. Is, it looked like Northern Valley kind of fell asleep. It gets away with a little bit of a travel. Inside they feed Gabe Rudd. Ruzica and gets the ball and and then some. It's going to get poked away. It'll be Red Devils' ball. So Ruzica right here in front of us. Gets it to back to Capuzzo. Picks up his dribbles. Got to go somewhere with it. Ruzica finds Osmeyer. Rudd. Call Rudd for the foul before Osmeyer could take his drop step. That's Tyler Osmeyer. Outside they'll go. Free throw line now with it. Back to Ruzica. High ball screen, he's going to the rim. Floats it up and good. Red Devils have taken the lead in this one. Nice little runner there. Northern Valley trying to get through offense and there's offense in itself, but Hammond could not connect. 
Deep pass, trying to get the ball to Osmeyer out in front of everyone. They do. He puts it up and scores it. They lead by three. Northern Valley's going to have to figure out something on the offensive side of things now because that <laughs> the problem is just keep mounting up that they cannot seem to break into this Red Devil defense in this fourth quarter. Words are hard sometimes. They are. <laughs> just ask me. Olin going to try an NBA three. That one would have put a nail in it. Osmeyer cleans up a rebound, misses it. And this second one somehow goes over to John L. Spear. Hey, I'm all for trying a three like that if you've got the big men, Corporich and Osmeyer down there to clean up the glass if you miss. Cohen Olin will pick up the foul, fourth team foul. Checking. The score clock here with two minutes to go. Northern Valley. Hammond gets it tipped away by Capuzzo twice. and A lot of contact there, but they let him play through it. Hammond gets it back. Capuzzo tips it away again. This time he gets the ball. Now go high to Osmeyer, and he'll be fouled by John L. Spear. Don't mind the aggressive play in the backcourt, nope. but we got to figure out how to stop turning the ball over. Yeah, you got to figure out how to. Capitalize on those trips down the floor. It's a lot of empty offensive possessions in this fourth quarter for the Huskies. Coach Sides is going to pick up man-to-man -man everywhere and deny this ball in. So Rudd gets called for the warning as he went over the out-of-bounds line there. He's trying to make it difficult for Osmeyer to get it in, but you can't. Get in his zone. It's a good strategy at this point in the game. Yeah. If they're not going to call it, it'll lead to help on you on defense. Steal by Northern Valley. They try to throw the ball a little too quickly to ham it out front. Just can't put anything together right now. Spear had some sauce on that pass, but it was not. It was a little too far out in front of Hammond. And a timeout here by Coach Weiss. We'll Northern Valley's going to come out in a smothering man-to-man -man here and try and deny this ball in, try and pick up defensively where their offense, that's a, they, and Northern Valley should get that ball back. They are not going to be awarded it. These are some big possessions, though, as there's only a minute 30 left in this game. Huskies find themselves down three. And Rudd's got him smashed against Osmeyer in this background court. Ruzica back out. Osmeyer to shoot one is short, no good. Capuzzo rips it away from Cox. He gets it back. Capuzzo gets him again, though. Back to Hammond it goes. He'll drive baseline floaters there, and he'll go shoot two as a foul will go against the big man, Osmeyer. Free throws are big in the fourth quarter, Aim. Yes, they are. The first one came up way short. The second one coming momentarily, and it's long. Northern Valley Hammond tracks down a rebound. Cox now to Spear. Open for three and going to tie this ball game right here, but he missed it. Osmeyer throws it high and... And a foul will be whistled as defense has been picked up here by the Huskies. That'll be the third on Jason Cox. Number 40 for the Red Devils checking in. Coperich. That's a Huskies team six, six foul. So from here on out, we're going to have some free throws. Like you said, they're big in the fourth quarter. It could be what puts this game away or wins it for the Huskies. Go to the rim. You got more possessions than just one, but Northern Valley hasn't scored there much either. Yeah, but you got to find Rudd down low and, and see if you can at least draw the contact. This is going to be a jump ball as Capuzzo and Lowry get tangled up. Huskies ball on the side. But I would I would still look for Rudd down there and see if, if nothing else, get maybe an and one opportunity as we've seen him do that a lot. Cox back to... Owen Hammond calling for it on the wing. He finally gets it. And, yeah, just, you got plenty of time. Get a good shot. Back to Spear. 
Pump fake, and now gets it to Cox. Now a turnover is the big man, Osmeyer, out in front of everybody. He'll put it in. Now you've got to go to the rim as fast as you can. Now you have no time. Down to five. You've got to get points on the board. They'll go to Rudd. His shot away. Short, no good. That and Ruzica with a rebound. Wrote. Osmeyer looking for where to go and nobody home. Shot up, blocked by Hammond, but it ain't going to matter as the Red Devils are going to escape this with a victory.